whatever, so. Plants. I'm still looking for my orchid. No. You're not gonna find it, are you? <gasps> I am offended. Decorations. Plants. There's really no orchid in here. I remember there was one on the Xbox. I guess I guess there's just different ones. But no orchid. <gasps> a fiddle! I have a fiddle that's in the corner here. It's not doing very well, but it's there. <laughs> Love fiddles. Oh my god, it's tiny. Look at it. I can put it on top of the fridge. Is it wait, can I pick sizes? No, I cannot. Okay. Fiddle. Yeah. You're so cool. I have two small fiddles too, about that size. They're also not doing great. They're they're there. <laughs> and they're surviving. Let me see if I can pick one up without making a mess here. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Move you. Let's see. I'll pick the one that has more leaves. It's actually doing a little bit better than the other one is. Ooh. Yeah, I'm having a problem, like, with watering with these. It's trying. Poor little thing. It's got, like, a, a really tiny, like, new leaf coming out of the top, too. But I'm having problems, like, keeping up with the watering in these because they get dry really quickly. So I think that's why they're doing bad. The other one is about the same with this. It's got two leaves, too. But its leaves don't have browning on the edges like this one does. So it's doing a little bit better, I guess. But they're surviving. They're doing their best. I'm gonna turn it around. Maybe that'll help them. Yeah. Um, the big one. I'm having the same issue with the big one. It's like... I feel like it gets way too dry before I notice, and that's why it's got dark edges on its leaves. Okay. Pointless plant, you know, show and tell for no reason whatsoever. So cute. Okay. Uh, we can fit more plants in here, right? I'm gonna spend all my money on goddamn plants. Uh, oh, it's a pomp. An Eureka pomp. I'm gonna see. I really like that. That's pretty. This looks like an orchid, but it looks like, um, it looks like a... Not a Phalaenopsis orchid. The Phalaenopsis are like the, the common ones. I mean, I guess I can get one. A zygo I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Zygo pet alum. Hold on. Hold on, wait, this is necessary. Sonic food twitch ad, you be nasty. <laughs> it cut off, it's spreading the oh no, I don't know what it said either either. Let's see. Um how do I spell that? Zy go pet alum. Yeah. Zygo Vitalum Orchid. <laughs> I knew this fucking working, god dang it. Oh, I see. Its flowers are very different, and they look a lot like that. Sweet. So I do have an orchid. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. Put it right in the kitchen. Can I put it in a windowsill? <gasps> I can. Get up there. I saw you do it. Perfect. Thank you. I'm happy I got an orchid. Ignore that traffic noise because I got my uh, window open. These are nice syngoniums. They're easy care plants. Hydrangea. Oh, it's a blue hydrangea too. Oh, that's awesome. I want a palm so bad, but I'm afraid of palms. They're, they are a plant that needs a lot of humidity. And if you don't give it to them, they go to shit. Aeonium Arboretum. I believe I believe this is a succulent. Don't quote me on that. 
pretty sure it is. This is suck. This is suck. I believe this is also a suck. Snake plant. Let's see. Cactus. <gasps> Dracaena. Wait, that's a Dracaena? Dracaena is what I just picked up a second ago. This? This is Dracaena. This is like three different kinds of Dracaena in one pot, though. And it is also not doing well because I believe I'm also not doing the watering well on this one. Dracaenas are finicky with their water because they want they want water that's been sitting for like 24 hours so like all the metals and stuff dissipates out of the water if that makes sense. So I've been giving I have two Dracaenas. I have this one and one big one in the corner. Big one in the corner is doing better though but I've been giving them bottled water <laughs> because they don't like the metals in normal water because they're prissy. Prissy. Prissy plants. Can this fit in here? Come on. Really? Come on. It'll fit over here, though. I, I don't care if it's in the way. Come on. You can do it. There we go. We just got a fucking jungle in here. I'm not done yet. I'll get back to the game. I swear I will. I swear I will. One day. Hey, poinsettia. poinsettia is one of the one of the plants that I have a hard time with. Like a real hard time with. I've had two of them in my life and both of them, they just wilt and die. And I hate it because you can actually keep a poinsettia alive year round. Like they're not just a Christmas plant, but I can't do it. I can't figure it out. It upsets me because I really would like to have one that I can keep alive. I think it's the watering that I have a problem with because the last one I had, I had like right in front of the window, so it was getting a lot of bright light. Maybe it was the light that no, because it was it was wilting. I think this is a bamboo palm. Howia forsteriana. I think that's a bamboo palm. Howia forsteriana. There it is. Is that a bamboo palm? It's a palm. A cantia palm. Okay. So I was I was half right. <laughs> it's baby. You know what? That was nice, I like that. Ooh. <laughs> can I put this in the bathroom? That'd be sweet. Oh I actually can. Nice. See, if I were to get that, that cube shower, I wouldn't be able to put that there. I personally like drinking my water with loose nuts and balsam yes. <laughs> Swirls the glass with violent clanking noises. <laughs> they add vitamins. They sure do. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick some plants in for the I might get another orchid for that window too. Let's see. Plants I uh I'm not seeing if I could find like a Shaflera in here, Shaflera is an umbrella plant, I have one in the corner here, which is also not doing well because it wasn't getting enough light. But I have two grow lights on it now that I moved in front of it yesterday. So hopefully it does better. It has also got like babies growing around the bottom of it. Pretty I've had that one forever. I got it out of the trash at work like six years ago. Like a long ass time ago. And it's gotten so big. So I would like it very much to not die. <laughs> that would be super. Isn't turmeric like that weird ass vitamin that people are taking nowadays? I didn't know it was an actual plant. Let's see what we got. Snake plant! That one is like my uh, snake plant that I have in my dinos here. I showed this last time, but this is when my stream wasn't working, so this is the same thing. And it's got babies! <gasps> Look, I don't know if you can see, there's a baby right there. There's a baby right there. <laughs> it just did this too, because I just planted this in this little dino pot. And it keeps like falling out too. I need to like add more dirt so it'll stabilize it. But yeah, it just did that. It just showed me the little babies. Sweet little babies. I had another dino pot like that that was a little brontosaurus, but I gave it away before I moved. I need to get that brontosaurus back because I really like it. Dino plant, yeah! And then I have another snake, which I showed you all this the other day, Elite and Wonder. It's in my little frog. It's got uh, variegated snake plants in it that are rooting. Like it's rooting! I don't know if you can see that. Look. Check it out. You see those roots? Those roots there, and then this one's still not. It's 
got nothing. And then this one... <gasps> this one's got a little root. You see it? Spooky noise. Oh my god, I've had these in here for like... Going on four months at least. So I was a little worried that they weren't going to root. But I'm so glad to see they're rooting. Yeah. Once they root just a little bit more, I can plant them in that little frog pot the right way. Uh, so snake plant. I believe this is also a cactus. Cactus? Cactus? Oh, this is, um... This is an aloe. I don't think this is also an aloe, but it's... I've seen one of these before. This is a Swedish ivy. That's really pretty, cyclamen. A cissus. Those look very similar to this, but they're not the same plant. Chives. That looks like a type of a plant. Oh, Shaflera! Yeah, Shaflera. That's what my plant is supposed to look like, and it looks so sad. <laughs> it looks so sad. That's okay, I'll get it back. I'll get it back to where it was, its former glory. Oh my god, come on. I mean, it's a little obnoxious, but it's kind of what I got like set up over here right now, so... <laughs> Do it I can plant stretch, yeah. So that makes me want to go to the nearest store and buy a little plant. They're very persuadable. If you do, I suggest pothos. Like, this is a pothos. I got I got pothos everywhere, dude. This is a pothos. This is a jade pothos. And then I have let me see, I got like three different kinds of pothos. Oh, and I have it in my little my little uh animal crossing pot. <laughs> I got two of these. I got the second one that Echo made for me. He's a little bigger. He's over there. And then I have... I have... Let me see. I have... This pothos. This is a... Manjula or Pearls and Jade. I can't remember which. It's in my owl pot. <laughs> but it's... The pothos are so easy. Like, both of these are in low light. And they're just thriving because, you know, they're pothos. They fucking love any light you give them. Oh, there's a dead leaf in there. Get out of there. But I have that. And then I have... I have two of these. There's one. And... Two. This is... This one Rob gave me. That's why it's in his little cup that has his face on it. <laughs> but these are neon pothos. And I love these. This one I got from Houston, uh, from a Reddit plant trade. So I'm attached to both of these. They're very, they're very sentimental plants. <laughs> there's that one. And then there's like five other kinds of pothos. Like I have two on the wall that are variegated pothos. So they look like the jade there, but they have like white stripes. And there's another one there. Those I've had with me forever. And then there's... Uh, one I have in the living room is called a Silvery Ann Pothos. It's got like harder leaves, but it's got like silver specks in it. Yeah. I got that. And then I want to think there's... Oh, there's there's Cebu, Cebu Blue Pothos that has like longer leaves like the uh, money tree here. It looks kind of similar to that, but it, it's not like a tree plant. And then... There's another one I'm missing. There's like seven different types, but like the kinds that I showed you here are like the common ones. So there's there's jade, there's variegated, there's uh, pearls and jade, there's manjula, there's neon, Cebu blue. I forget the last one. <laughs> but if you could find any pothos, any pothos are a damn good plant. Oh, I have another one up there too that I just planted the other day. I love pothos so much. They're the plant that got me into plants. Like, my very first plant was a pothos, because they're so easy. They're so forgiving. They're so hardy. They're just a good plant. You know what? Let me see if I can... I wonder if I could fit another plant on the other side there. Possibly. I love that it's turning into a jungle in here, much like real life. <laughs> Lloyd gyroid, yeah! Here's my other Lloyd, right here. It's got... Excuse the plant that's in it. It's a, it's a Monstera... Um, at Ansonii that's not doing very well, but it's alive, and it's got like a tiny little baby growing out right here, so I have help, uh, hope for it, but yeah, there's my other one. <laughs> this is the one Echo made me. He 3D printed me this. Yeah. Because I, I showed him that one, and that one was so tiny, he was like, I could make you a bigger one. So I was like, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. 
So let's see. I got room for a couple more. Shuffleira. I'm so glad I found Shuffleira. So let's scroll down some back to where Shuffleira was. Um, I used to have a cactus a long time ago. The only reason why I still don't have cactus is because they're difficult to repot. So when they get too big, it, yeah, it's difficult because <laughs> they got pricks. They got little pricks. <laughs> Marissa's plant corner. Dude, I could be here all day if I showed you all my- Oh, there it is. Why is it called Orcus? What? It's an orchid, bro. This is the kind of orchid I have. And I do have an orchid right here, but it's not flowering. Right, yeah. I don't know what color flowers it has, because I got it from Home Depot from the bargain center, from the bargain rack. So it was dying. And I recently put it in this bigger pot, and it's given me two new leaves and more roots at the bottom. These roots here. So, like, an orchid in the wild, like, grows, like, on the side of, like, bark on trees. And, like, they hang on shit. So that's why they have these roots that latch onto stuff. But I can't wait for this one to flower. I want to see what color it is. I just, I'm trying to take care of it to the best of my ability so it will start flowering, but it has never flowered for me. I'm so sad. But it's not dying, though. It's like, it's like one of the plants that I have doing the best right now, and I don't understand. Like, it's in orchid bark. It's not overwatered. It's got a bare pot. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I could be here all day going on about fucking plants. Ooh, I kind of like that. <gasps> yes. They have an orchid out now. It used to be they had orchids that were, uh, like, food coloring was added, and they would be blue that way. Like, you could add, uh, they would add blue food coloring to a white orchid, and it would make it bud uh, blue, blue um, flowers. But now, I looked the other day, because I was looking at orchids online, and they actually are breeding actual blue orchids now, so I'm like, and it's a really bright, vibrant blue too, it's really pretty. But I look online and they're like $60. <laughs> so, god dang it. So, uh, I haven't been able to get one just yet. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty! Look at it go! So let's see. I've never done this before, like flowers in a watering can, because I've heard that the metals in metal containers like that can be bad for the plant. I don't know how true that is, but that's why I've never done it. Rosemary. I believe this is also an orchid, these two here. This is Pathophyllum. It's Pathophyllum. Yeah. <gasps> I have one of these, but it's variegated. This is a rubber tree. Ficus elastica. What's the difference? Oh, the pot. Yeah, these are rubber trees. They're in the same family as the fiddle. Um, this is a non-variegated one, but the one I have in the kitchen is variegated, so it has white, white streaks in it, and it also, if you give it enough sun, can have, like, pinkish red edges. It's really pretty. Where can I put this bitch? <laughs> I'll put it somewhere. It's gonna go on the desk, isn't it? Sure it is. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so fucking big. <laughs> it doesn't need to be on the desk with it being this big. Maybe I could stick it here. It'd be a little better. Yay. I mean, I'm covering my awesome art, but it's fine. It's for the sake of plants. It's fine, okay? Oh, I got two more windowsills here. <laughs> I can add more plants. Just probably stick more orchids in there, to be honest. Um, For the longest time, it took me forever to get an orchid again, because I had one when I first, first came to Oregon, like nine years ago or something like that I had one and I got it from the grocery store and it was flowering and like a week later it got destroyed by aphids they're these little neon tiny green vampire bugs that like as soon as they find a, fl a flowering plant they will suck the life out of it and that's exactly what happened they destroyed it I was so mad I was so mad <laughs> I had never seen an aphid before in my life until I came up here, and then I noticed there's another bug up here that eats aphids. So I was like, and ladybugs also eat aphids. Speaking of orchids, I found you some of my crap. Oh, awesome! You brought them to my house? Oh, thank you, why they're awesome! That's awesome, that makes me happy. Ooh, Azizi! <gasps> I have Azizi too. Azizi too, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. 
I have it easy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like going on about fucking plants and the ZZ. Zemaculus? Zemaculus Zemophobia, I believe, is ZZ for short. But I have it in an old Coke bottle. <laughs> this thing, when I, have, when I first had one of these, I overwatered it and killed it, and I felt so bad. This thing is like a plant you would get if you are like bad at watering plants and you just forget about them. This thing can go like a month, maybe more, without watering, and it will live. Like, right now, it's bone-ass dry, I believe. Yeah, it is. Um, but the first one I had, I didn't know you could go that long without watering it. And I didn't know it was hardy like that, and I overwatered the shit out of it and killed it. But this one I've had for... I want to say, like, five years now. And it's been in this pot the whole time. <laughs> I should probably put it in a proper pot. Yeah, because I can see its roots. Oh, look at it. You can see its roots. It's root-bound needs to be repotted. Look at all those roots. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, this one is one of those magical plants though where you can cut off a piece like right here and you don't need the bottom. Stick it in water and it'll make a whole new plant. Just like the pothos. I love this plant. It's one of my favorites. This sits behind my TV under the grow light because it's a very easy plant. Very easy. <laughs> He's trying hard to escape the coke bottle. I need to get an actual decent pot for it. I'm getting this. CD. There's also one. I had one before I moved, but I had to give it away because I had too many plants. It's called a ZZ Raven, and it has black leaves. But when they grow out, they're like a little brighter than that. They're actually like a neon green, and then they turn black. It's really cool. I wish I could find another one. But that used to be an exotic plant, but they've recently like started breeding it so much that it's a common plant now, which I actually love. Let's see, where can I put ZZ? Can I put it on the can I put it on the windowsill? Oh come on. Really? God dang it. That's butt. Maybe I can put the fiddle on the window. Hold on. What? Come here, fiddle. Can you go on the window? Oh you sure can. Fuck yeah. Fiddle. I love fiddles so much. I need to just get down how to take care of them. <laughs> Fiddle's a very sentimental plant for me. Both both my mom and Rob have fiddle plants. And like before my mom introduced them to me, I didn't know what the hell a fiddle fig was. But they're called that because their leaves look like little fiddles. <laughs> it's it's technical not technical name, but its nickname is called Fiddle Fig Ficus, or a fiddle leaf fig. And then its its actual name is Ficus Lorata. But it's a good plant, and I like it a lot. And I'll probably get another one for this other window seal. Let's see. Uh, that one of those fiddles that I showed you earlier is also from Texas. I believe it's that one I showed you in the white pot. And then the other one I got when I was visiting my dad last time. And then this big one. That big one I've had for like... Three years? Something like that. I got it from Safeway one time when I was going to work in the middle of the night. Safeway was still open. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in there. And I see a freaking fiddle thing there. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's get a different color here. Ooh. kind of like that. That's pretty. Oh, come on. Computer, please. Computer, please. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I got room for one more plant. A small one. Probably be another orchid. I got room for two more plants. <laughs> Spent all my money on fucking plants, dude. <laughs> oh, lordy. I already have a rubber tree. A bamboo palm. Orchid. Probably just get another orchid, honestly. Get another work a different color. How's about that? The yellow one. Yellow one. Blue pot. Reverse blue pot than the yellow one. God, it's so fucking big. 
I didn't think it was gonna be this fucking massive, dude. Yay! Here we go! And then I got one room for one more on this desk over here. Actually, yeah. I could also technically put one in the bathroom window. <laughs> so let's see. Um, I don't want to put another orchid next to another orchid, so maybe I'll just get another fiddle for. Uh... Ooh. Hmm. That's actually nice. I like that. Another fiddle. And then. What? I'll put another one in here. And then we'll move on with game, because game is not plant game. Game is game is meant for houses. Look at all these fucking plants. <laughs> it's ridiculous in here. <laughs> you know what I do need to do, no, though? I need to uh, do something about this god-awful fucking tile in here. Can I, like... It's not the ceiling, though. It's the walls. Yeah, walls. There we go. Jesus, I don't know why I didn't see that. Oh my god, there's dog wallpaper. <laughs> Brah. I need a, a light color. Light walls plus... <gasps> I say light, and I pick the fucking... Just because it's fucking cyber wallpaper. It's got skulls on it. I'm going. There's another one. That is gorgeous. This is for walls? Oh my god. Mm, two of these. Let's see. A paling and tiling not available yet. You know what? It's gonna sit there until it is available. I'm not getting rid of that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get my radiator and then the shack will be complete. Why do I have capsule? Just a radiator plus. Okay. They added plants is now a plant game, right? <laughs> you know what? I didn't even think that because of the garden DLC, that's probably where all those extra plants came from. I didn't even think about that. House says need to be cleaned if it's destroyed from flipping it over there. House flipped. <laughs> yep, this is a good point. So there. So now everything on the minimap is green. Game can't bitch at me anymore. And it is covered in plants. Oh yeah. <laughs> now that I have, like, I spent a good seven grand on all this. Awesome. Awesome. Droops. You need to remove, I mean, I don't need to do anything, but I will. I have a bit of a problem. I try to deal with weeds in my garden, some kind of herbicide to get rid of them. Luckily, just test it out. Used it on a couple of them and quickly realized it's extremely effective. It destroyed the weaves. Weeds as well as the weaves. Oh my god, the weeds. That's... <laughs> I just picture a bunch of weaves on this dude's lawn. <laughs> weeds as well as my bushes. I'm really glad I didn't spray it all over my yard, but unfortunately I did it right in front of the entrance. Now the plants in that area are dried up and look pathetic. Please wipe them out and fill the spot with some fresh grass. I wonder if you could mow my lawn. Oh, no. I don't... I'm going to save this one solely because I do not have a mower yet. I'll pay you if I'm fully satisfied, satisfied or you get nothing. Winter is coming. Winters are hard here. No radiators in my house. Mount them. I mean, rude as fuck, but sure. <laughs> I'll pay you only if I'm fully satisfied, they say. It's a lot of butt. I remember doing this one, though. I remember. Okay. Uh, if I remember right, it's like, oh, okay, here's one. This is all they want, so it's like a quickies job. Green changing table. What is wrong with you? I mean, I suppose it makes sense because it's a baby's room, but still. Bright colors and all. Oh my god. I remember this blue from Phasmophobia. 
It's a bright ass blue. I love it, but I don't know if I'd put it on my walls. Maybe one day I'll like I'll like um just save a bunch of my cuttings that are rooted. I have a few now, but like I'll save a bunch and then like just do a stream where I just do nothing but plant plants and soil <laughs> and pots. I don't know how exciting that would be, but it'd be fun for me at least. <laughs> do I oh okay, sink and towel radiator. I have currently I have Two. Two? Yeah, two I can do that with because that one's not ready yet. The little snake plants, it still needs to root more. I have that. I have a piece of the uh, Schifflera that I cut off because I thought it was dead. And I was like, let me put this in water just to be safe. And I put it in water and now there's three little baby umbrellas growing out of it. It's so cute. I wish I could show you, but it's in the living room. So I don't want to go all the way out there because I can't be arsed. But yeah, it's got three little baby umbrellas. I so count. And the other one I have is, of course, a pothos. Because I'm always, always making more pothos. <laughs> it's one of the easiest plants alive to make. I've seen pothos live in, like, fairly dark rooms, too. They have, like, little to no light. And they just, they live there. They're fine. I mean, they could they could do better, but they're still alive and living. <laughs> Let's see. Sink. I just need a generic ass sink. I don't need nothing fancy anyhow. Yeah. There you go. Sink. Did she want a specific sink? No, she just says sink. Bruh. Oh, is this not gonna count as a sink? I don't think this is gonna count as a sink. I saw it I saw it highlight for a second there and it's not gonna do it anymore, is it? Whoa. I saw it highlight for a second, but I'm just gonna get another sink. It's one of these pot bellied sinks again. That looks so fucking weird, dude. I would never get a sink like that for my house. Ever. Bro, it's doing the same thing. Look, it's high. Do you see that? It's highlighting for like a split second there. Where's my. Didn't I just get like a tissue? Where the hell did it go? Here it is. Hey, Robbie, welcome. So, I don't know what's wrong with this. I do. My dad's calling and I have to text him back. I don't know what's wrong with this. I don't know why it's not working, but, uh. I can see it highlighting green there, and it's just, it doesn't want to. How did I do this last time? I'm pretty sure last time I had, like, just a generic-ass sink in here, and it worked. So I'm not sure why it's not working this time. I'm going to try this one again. <sighs> okay, what exactly does it say? What does it say? That's why. God, I'm dumb. Now it'll work. Plain Jane has sink, bruh. There we go. There. Oh my god. Is this actually how these sinks get mounted on? Holy shit. Yay! Why does this look really weird? Like the textures look a little bit off. Yeah, it's done. $900 set. <laughs> I don't know if that was worth it. 
Possibly. Blue walls. But I didn't do anything in there. I did not do anything in that room. Or that one. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you say, game. I still haven't come across any houses, I guess because I gotta level up, but I haven't come across any houses that need, like, pet stuff done. I cleaned that bitch off of my, or that shit off of my house. I don't know why it's still on there. That's stupid. My house. My little shack. I need to replace this door. It's ugly as butt. Plants. No, that's not. That's not what I was trying to do. That's not what I was trying to do. That's also not what I was trying to do. Go back. I wonder why... I'm gonna go back here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Go back. Complete the first pet steel some job. Where do I find that, though? Map of jobs. Complete one more jobs. Three more jobs. More jobs. Hmm. I've already done that. That one takes a long time, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't know about that one. That one also takes a long time. Fuck. <laughs> All these take a long time. Yeah, this is the one that's like spying on his neighbors, and he wants everything like his neighbors do. I remember that. I guess I'll just do this. Oh, I see. He killed all of his shrubbery. I mean, kind of matches his tile, though. <laughs> I've had locks of new tool. Oh, the weed whacker. You got a brush cutter. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. There we go. Uh, can I even mow the lawn? Oh, I guess I gotta use a weed eater to do it. Oh, my. Is this, is this doing anything at all? I don't think it is. Oh, probably because... Don't worry about me. Not gonna take forever or anything. Holy dot. Oh my fucking god. I see it's like... Putting this into sections. It's a little confusing. What does it want me to sell? Oh, I guess it wants me to sell the um, shrubs that are dead. Mow the lawn 15%. I mean, I don't know what more you want me to mow, holy. Oh, that side. Mowing the lawn with a weed whacker. Oh yeah. Twenty nine percent. Do I have to? Oh, I gotta do it back too. Oh god, dang it. Sure, fucking do. God dang it. Can I get a skill point? I wonder if there's a skill point to, uh, like, lengthen the distance that you can weed whack. <laughs> like a better term. <laughs> I do like that little gate there in that fence. It's nice. I'm used. It's just gonna take a uh, ten years. I 
Still gotta do the other side. Okay. I missed a spot. A few spots, actually. Nice backyard. I don't like that furniture. It looks like... Those look like, uh... Those little, um... I don't know what you call it. Like, I know they're not saturation chambers, because that's from House on the Haunted Hill. <laughs> you know those, like, little pods that they put you in that are, that are like, full of water? And they, like, tell you to, like, fall asleep in them? They're terrifying. I, like, I would never use one of them. But that's what they look like to me, and that's what they remind me of. I would never have that as furniture. It does go kind of far, but I could I could do with it going farther. Eighty percent. Listen, I will unlock the kitties before I stop today, god dang it. I would have adopted a little kitty cat. Maybe two. The gardener's still available. Aw, oh, yeah. 95. So where am I missing? Where? Oh. 96. Are you really gonna tell me these- yeah, these little bitty bits are what's stopping me. <laughs> oh my god. There. God fucking dang it. Pour the water out. What? Oh, I can drain the pool, I see. Well, I mean, she didn't ask me to do that, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> okay. She wants... conifer shrub. Spherical shape. Do you want grass in this area? Wait, 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 wait. Sell object. Okay, so she wants me to sell these. He wants me to sell these shrubs. That's what it is. Because they're fucking dead. There we go. Yay! I can complete it now if I want, but he said he wanted grass, so. Medium. I don't know how big it'll. Oh, I don't know how big it'll need it, so I'm just gonna. Oh, that's not gonna get me sick at all. Nope. There we go. Let me finish. There's a gap. <laughs> that is actual, but can I? Can I pick this up? I'm gonna waste. Okay. Okay, that's just- there's just gonna be a gap there. That's fine. Sensory deprivation chamber. Yeah, that thing. That terrifying thing. There's no gap there. I don't know why I made a gap on the first one, but whatever. Uh, maybe I can use like a small piece there? Let me try a small one. Yeah, that'll work, right? Let's see. Oops. I forgot a piece of weed there. Oh, it's these. There's that. Extra small. Damn it! 
get these controls down one day. Oh, I see. That's why I couldn't uh, put a second one there. Because there's just going to be a little gap there. <laughs> He's going to hate it, but whatever. Okay. And then I can use a large one. And it should work. Or a medium, rather. Probably should have tried large. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> There's gonna be a cap. <laughs> I can't pick any that's like. Let me see if I can just get an extra small for that, if it'll let me. Yep, it'll let me. Okay, and then I'll put another- oops, I'll put another one over here. There. So it won't look- it won't look too bad. Yeah, there we go. Sweet! Okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Yay. Almost a grand for that. Nice. I'm still not used to this before and after thing. <laughs> Yay! I need a separate office. I mean, that's nice, but, uh, you know, whatever. I hope I don't get a driveway from my shack. Oh, I love coming back here and I'm just fucking surrounded by plants. This is beautiful. Oops. I did it again. It's still, like, not... <gasps> there we go. Okay, so I do have to, like, enter, like, a whole different area. This is, like... This looks like a very uh, low poly version of the Sims 4 map. <laughs> no way to. It's a bun! Look at it! Alice Finbar always wanted to see the world actually. After graduating university, she decided to set fire her wanderlust. Three years later, while on a remote trail, she found a hungry sick bunny. He eventually became her travel mate. Alice has brought her first house recently. She wants to move in with Jasper, the bunny ASAP. Settling down would be something new for both of them. Oh my goodness. He's got a bun. He's got little black ears. So cute. I think game knew you were watching Elite. <laughs> it's like, you know what, bun? Have it. Bunny. <laughs> There's gonna be like animal shit all over this house. You watch. Bunny. Because I've noticed. The ocean. Oh, they actually have voice actors. And driven a dog sled in Alaska. But house renovation oh my god. Not really my thing. They killed the plant! Did you see it? It was on the floor. Wonders, and I want my home to be one. Right now, it's in a worse state than Machu Picchu. Does she have to use, like. More than just my base camp. A place I can work from. There's chicken feathers. The plant! You can save that plant. It's still green. It's still green. And welcoming. A proper home for me and my bunny. Bunny. I want him to be happy here too. Let's go out with the old and in with the new. She says as she opens her door like covered in shit. <laughs> There's chicken feathers all over one room, dude. Cocoa pebbles. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, look at the butterfly. It's so pretty. Okay. Okay. Let's just... Let's, let, let. Let's quickly remove the weeds so we can go inside. <laughs> I'm kiss the buddy. Look at that precious little donkey. <laughs> I have a feeling Bun would be happy as long as he has food and he's inside. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that blue. It's gorgeous.
trash. Okay, I just got weeds left. Any more? Any more? I see some towards the back here. Can I run? Is there a run button in this game? It's like phasmophobia. It's got the same buttons, man. Big ass yard. You could let Bun out here if you had like a little like uh, those little metal like gate things that you can put around, you know, to like keep them to where they don't run away. Yeah. Beep. Going through the back door. Oh, there's there's paw prints. <laughs> there's fucking paw prints, dude. <gasps> Is that a jade? It looks like a jade. There's piss. Somebody pissed on the jade. Oh. You could save this plant. And there's also shit on the broken pots. <laughs> you could save that plant, dude. I like how the shit is its, its, its own entity. I'm pretty much sure you gotta- yeah, I gotta bump that up. Dude, did like some wild dogs just come in here and just trash the place? Cause that's what it looks like. Chicken feathers. Oh, I see. Like, it was- these feathers were from inside the pillow, that's what happened. Can I straighten this? Computer, please. There we go. There we go. There's piss. <gasps> Another poor little plant. Oh, I can pick this up, please. I could save that one. It looks like a little um, African violet. I have one of those, but I'm not going to show you because it's almost dead. <laughs> and I, it has like a little, one little tiny, tiny green leaf on it, so it's trying to survive. I'm giving it hope. Um, that one has bright pink flowers. Not the same pink here. It's like a more of a, a lighter pink. <gasps> Pretty. Actually, that looks like. I forget the name of that plant. It's not a. It's not a dracaena. It's something else. What? Mysterious white liquid on the floor. I don't want to uh, speculate with this. <laughs> Giraffe. What's in here? Bathroom. Are you kidding me? The frickin' fur carpet is not pissed on? I'm shocked. Is this a closet? You can change the stairs in some houses to do that aim at them. I can change stairs? Really? Is it- why did you tell me that when I went in the closet? <laughs> oh my god, I've noticed this is a thing lately. Like, people decorating with these straw hats like this, and also straw baskets. I don't like it. <laughs> I noticed it's a thing, though. Very, very recently noticed this. Oh my god. Just trash everywhere. I'm convinced a dog. <gasps> it's a pug! It's a little pug! What the fuck? Okay. That was like a call. I it's a pug. For Jasper's safety sake. It's but a little my good pug. friend may figure something out. He's got a little hat. I'm He's got a little newspaper hat, dude. With you. Oh. Hi, it's Morgan. It looks like this puppy needs a new home. He's so cute. He looks dirty too, the poor you. thing. He's a pug. Yes, he's a little pug. I can't, I can't resist a pug. Great. I'm sure the two of you will get along in no time. I was not planning to adopt a dog, but I can't resist a pug, dude. Like, if a pug and a pomeranian are gonna be my weakness. Have a nice day. You poor little guy. He needs a bath. He's got a little newspaper hat. Are you gonna like wander around and piss everywhere, like while I'm trying to clean this place? <laughs> Please don't piss. I'll put you outside in a minute. No. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you the one that like caused this unholy mess in here? Oh, I feel so bad for him. He looks like he's been like rolling in dirt and so neglected. But he's got a cute little hat. Okay. I wonder if I can like stick him outside if he'll have fun out there. You know? I'm gonna do that after I get rid of these. There we go. I'm sure a door would look much better. Oh my god, there's pigeon shit. Hey, buddy. Come here. 